Hello beautiful souls, this is Julie with Into Heart Space and we're here already looking at the energy surrounding you for February. Uh, so first and foremost, so much love, joy, and blessings to everyone who's been watching and giving wonderful feedback. Just a reminder that my channel is about growth, about love, about raising each other up and keeping that vibration high. And we all fall, we, and that's just being human, and that's just being where we are. But if we do fall, and we do fall into um, a harsher area, instead of trying to bring people down with you, let us rise you up. So please make sure that when you do leave comments, that you're leaving it in your highest of energy at the time, and that you, what you say and what you do is constructive for everyone involved. I have a background as a dancer, so I'm very used to hearing um, criticism and hearing things about um, what I'm doing wrong, how I can fix it, what I need to do to be better, and for me, that is, it's very helpful. But when you are saying negative, mean, spiteful things to others, it doesn't help anyone, and it doesn't help anyone grow. So just be mindful of the, the words that you put down on the channel, remember it rings out to everyone and you can't bring it back so remember to speak be act with love and joy in your heart now remember that this reading too I'm starting a new kind of format in that the beginning of the reading is the collective so I'll pull one card that is for the collective so this includes everybody in some way shape or form it could be in your subconscious it could be your conscious but it will hit you sometime during February this one card and this is for everybody so for all the signs and then after that it'll go into your individual sign um, your sign reading for them for the month so I, I, I've I've um, been hearing that there's a little bit of confusion about that uh, so know that this is the collective so this is every sign and then it will go into your individual sign so um, your Sun moon rising sign so make sure also too when you are looking at the readings for your individual signs that you are looking at your Sun that you are looking at your rising you're looking at your moon and if you're more interested about you know your relationships then look you know, find Mercury in your in your natal chart, find Venus, find Mars in your natal chart and see how it's all interacting and look at those and look at those signs too. If you have questions about that, let me know. Maybe I could do um, a video kind of explaining why they are important and why those readings will reflect relationships or family or whatnot. But know that you are not just one sign. You are made up of every sign, actually. So every sign in some regard will resonate with you, whether it's about how you act or how you are acting with your family, higher education, um, your spiritual side. There's so many different aspects. But absolutely look at your sun and your rising and your moon. All right, so let's pull one for the collective. Calling on the highest of energy highest of love and light calling on the divine what is the energy for the collective what message do you have for everyone this one okay clear yourself So this says, <clears throat> ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed. Holy moly, isn't that right, people, my collective, right? Have you been feeling it lately that it, people have been a little bit more tight, a little bit more abrupt, a little bit more quick to say something negative instead, instead of sitting with their feelings and letting what comes out flow like silk instead of, <laughs> you know in anger so this is time this is the time to clear yourself of those energies take an epsom salt bath um, sit with yourself drink really clear water and or you could also drink water with a little bit of vinegar and lemon and cayenne and just clean your system but take this time to let go of that energy that has happened over the holidays uh, 
any if you've received anger and bitterness from others let it go remember the opinion of others is not it's not for you it's not important to you uh it's none of your business you know so what other people feel about you let go it has nothing to do with you what really matters is your connection to yourself to your environment and to your higher higher mind your higher spirit your higher body find that connection and when you do you will be connected to everyone so let me read this to you one more time ask the angels to release any toxic energies that you may have absorbed so everyone if you also hold on to this energy this toxic energy it forms into different things like Mm, I mean, I, I am a true proponent that if you hold on to toxic, toxicity, it could turn into an illness. It can turn into um, a darker mindset. It can turn into depression. So these are things that you need to let go so that you can let the light in. And you guys know that I say that so much is that you need to let go. And even in my dance classes that I teach, I tell my students, let go. You know, move that spine, move it so that you can really feel your body flowing, feel the energy flowing through it. So make sure that you are doing that right now. It's starting to add up. It's starting to accumulate and it's, you have to expunge that, that energy, let it out so that you can clear, cleanse and clear your heart space. All right, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Taurus. This is Julie with Into Heart Space. And we're looking at the energy surrounding you for February 2017. I am so sorry that this is up late. I had already recorded it, and one of my listeners let me know that it cut out uh, before you even got any of the reading, so I apologize. Um, I guess that wasn't the reading for you. It was meant to uh, be redone, so I apologize for it getting out later than all the rest of the signs, and to make it up to you, um, during February's mid-month, I will post yours first, um, and then everyone else's a little bit later, so you do not feel left out, and it's all even. Alright, so if you would like a personal reading, then you can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me at my website, or email me. All right, calling in the highest of energy, calling in the divine, calling the highest of light to guide us on this reading. What energies are surrounding Taurus for February 2017? What messages, what energies, what does Taurus need to know? Okay. And the energy that's coming in from January is uh, strength reversed. So in some regards, it's asking you to hold back just a little bit um, to see what lies, see how things happen before making a decision. You know, it's also saying that you might need to build your own uh, your own strength, build your own endurance before starting a pr project that you're you're thinking about right now. Then we have the lovers, ooh, and king of discs, the ten of cups reversed, and then the knight of cups reversed. We have the four of swords reversed, the nine of swords reversed, and then ten of wands. Ace of discs reversed, five of discs reversed, and the four of discs interesting the layout here um, page of swords the unconscious reversed and the five of swords reversed so what I want to point out right now which is so interesting how this actually laid out is that first off we had strengths re reversed and then lovers upright but in each of the sections I have two reversed and one upright 
in every section. So it's, you know, it depending on where, where it lays in the reading, it, it absolutely does symbolize that there is some blockage going on, but you can get to your goal, even though it might be a little bit more windy, it might be a little bit more challenging, but you can still get there. It's just, even though you have the energy that is just a little helter skelter in some regards, it's saying that getting to your, getting to your path, getting on your path, getting to your destiny, um, getting to the goal can happen, but you're just going to have to be a little bit more creative. You're going to have to be a little bit more open and a little bit more patient. Okay. So in the first, first off in the middle, we have the lovers. So how lovely is that ruled by Gemini? Uh, so it's going to be open communication between those you care about and yourself, but, and that can be in regards to work that can be reco in regards to relationship, but it's open. It's, you guys can hear each other very uh, clearly. What you say makes sense to others. Uh, it can also symbolize, you know, um, a union that is based on respect and honor of one another and the boundaries that lay in a contract like marriage. So having the lovers is a, is a great card to have in the middle because it's a sign of respect and joy uh, that is reciprocated from those you give it to. All right, so in relationship, we have the king of discs. And then we have the ten of cups reversed and the knight of cups reversed. So let's start with the Knight of Cups. I'm going to start there. There's some messages coming in that I feel like that you're going to be receiving that are petty, uh, that can be considered uh, passive aggressive, and you're going to be able to deflect it in some regards. But the 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 problem with it is it's going to be really hard for you to deflect it and it could really affect how you see your future with this person or with somebody else. So what I advise as I have the king of discs here is to stay strong within yourself, of course, always, that's just a given, but also to keep your environment comfortable for yourself to play when you receive this message, if you can make sure that it's on your own home ground, that will make a lot of difference for you. And, you know, make sure like if they say, hey, I have something to talk to you about and you get this, you know, your intuition kicks in that uh, it, do it doesn't sound good. Say, OK, now let's meet at my favorite coffee shop. No, let's meet at my house and do it on your playing field where you feel comfortable and where you feel relaxed. And that way you can receive this energy. Um, receive these messages with your own energy intact. You know, this can also be reversed that it has the Knight of Cups is you, seeing as it is a cup sign. Or it can be somebody of a cup feeling. So, you know, um, I'm sorry, Taurus, I said it's you, but it's not. Yeah, I was thinking of cancer for some reason. Um, so cups are not you, but it's a water sign. So it's going to be like cancer or Scorpio or Pisces, so very watery. So, uh, you know, I said it could be you, it could be, but it really, you, you are the king of discs, Taurus, you really are. I mean, it is ruled by Gemini, but um, the king of discs is ruled by Gemini um, to an extent, but th it's definitely an earth energy like you. You are the king of, yep, spirits like, nope, Taurus is a king of cups, so you're going to be receiving a message that could be kind of conniving and, um, you know, just kind of uh, trying to bring you down to their level in a way. You know, I think maybe in some regards, I think you're going to be separating from someone. It's going to be your choice because you just don't see a future with them. You just don't see things happening. And, it, and this person, this water sign, this feeling... Um, is going to be of them clinging to you and, you know, begging you to stay and work it out. And you're not going to have it. You're just, you know, you know, uh, 
what you feel, you know what you need to do, and you're going to be able to do it, even though it's going to be very difficult for you to do so, because this Knight of Cups is really going to try to hold on, you know, in any way, shape, or form that they can. And I think they're going to, the tactic that they might be trying to use is um, making you feel really guilty. Like, how could you do this to me? I loved you. I would have given you anything and everything and you just throw it away. You know, that kind of thing. Um, I think they're going to be saying that to you. But you understand that your future doesn't hold them at this moment. And so you have to let go. In career, we have the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, and, and both of these are reversed. And then we have the Ten of Wands. So usually with the, and it's really interesting that it's the Four of Swords and the Nine of Swords because both of them talk about worry and needing to rest and to uh, recollect what, what you're doing, but they're in the reverse. So this is really saying push forward, you know, like with the Four of Swords in reverse, sometimes I, I view it as this is very, very important for you to rest, like you're completely out of steam and you need to you need to take care of yourself or else you're going to run on burnout or, or worse, like, you know, you could have a breakdown. Uh, and with the nine of swords reverse, sometimes I see it as, uh, such anxiety that you need to go see a counselor, that you need to ask for help, you know, spiritual guidance. But in this regard, having these two here with the 10 of wands, I really see that it's, you need to let go of all these, you know, this idea, Taurus, that you need more rest. Um, that your anxiety is, is the reason why you're being held back. Like these two things, it's going to be like sleep, uh, smart, you know, get enough sleep, but then don't use it as an excuse if you, you know, get seven hours instead of eight. And then what are you worried about? What is truly worrying you? Is it worth worrying over? Because you've got a lot of work ahead of you. And when it comes to your career right now, it's like, when we have the Ten of Wands, it's this feeling of being overwhelmed. So having all these here, it's like you've got to let something go. You've got to let something give. Because all these cards are saying you're overly exhausted, you're anxious, and you're overworked. But there's, but you need to let go so you can keep going on. Do you understand what I'm saying, Taurus? Does that make sense? Ah, uh, uh so my advice here is do not let these difficulties, these trials, be the reason that you stop doing what you're doing. I feel like you need to reevaluate with your career and what you are doing right now, what is important and where you want to go. Because if you are on burnout and if you're ready for a breakdown and overworked, and you just can't keep it all up, then that is on you, Taurus. You've got to let something go. You've got to make a plan. And this is what this is saying, is you have to keep, you have to keep going forward. You have to. This is not the time to, to burn out. You can't burn out. You have to figure this out. This is like a breakthrough moment right now. This is important for you to deal with. Um, you know, the Ten of the Wands is all, Ten of Wands is also the end of a cycle, you know, and then you're going to go back to the Ace. So how are, what is it that you're going to let go of so you can start anew? Um, and this has to do with your career. If you're overworked in certain regards, then, you know, put something down. Okay. And the nice thing about this is you still have the lovers here. Okay, when it comes to career. So people will understand what you're saying and people will support you. You know, you only have to hold a couple of these. You don't need to ha hold all 10. All right, so then in abundance, we have the ace of discs in reverse, the five of discs in reverse, and the four of discs upright. So you're, you're feeling at a loss. You, you had this idea, you had this hope that something would start and it didn't. And because of it, you feel uh, far from abundant. You know, you feel like you, you don't have 
the means to make things happen. And because of that, you're kind of, you're going inward, you're holding everything in, you're being very conservative about your situation and what you're doing. And it makes sense. It makes sense because you were planning on something to happen and then it didn't. And now what do you do? You hold on. And because of that, I really do want to pull a card and spirit was saying, pull an extra card here just to give you a little bit more guidance in this regard. This one. Okay. The high priestess. So this is, um, have faith, have faith Taurus. It shall work out, but you have to, um, not be so logical in a way. Okay. You have to, uh, look to other realms for support because it's not just working in the physical realm. There's more going on than meets the eye and spirits are behind you, but you're not asking for the right help. You're deflecting a lot of your personal energy and not taking responsibility in the spiritual realm, which in turn is reflected in the physical and your abundance is being dampened because of it. So you have to find that balance between the spirit and your physical right now. Something is going on where you don't, you're spiritually feeling bankrupt, not saying that you're an evil person, not saying that you're mean or anything like that. It could just be that right now you, um, you are not, uh, seeking, you know, this, the higher, the higher realms. And, you know, spirit is asking you to do so is to not forget as above, so below. So if you are feeling Taurus in, in some regards, like just, you don't believe, you don't have faith, everything is <laughs> falling apart, no one helps, nothing is. I have no faith in anything. I understand, it's a, it's a tough time. I've heard it from a lot of my clients, I've heard it from a lot of the people who've been watching. It is a tough time. But the High Priestess just came in to, to let you know that you have strength. You have strength in spirit. You have strength in other realms. And to use it, don't be afraid. Call on the moon. Call on that emotion. And use it to your advantage. It is not a detriment. You know, having that emotional side will help you. You know, um, mix it in. Mix it in with the earth. Mix it in with with what is happening now in your reality sprinkle sprinkle the the magic and let's see what happens because there is a beginning and it wants to come in but it's just not happening and it has to do with this disconnect that's going on with you but once again you are open you have the lovers here your words will be heard you just have to use them all right, and then in health, mind, body, soul connection, we have the Page of Swords. We have the unconscious reversed, and that makes sense. Okay, so yeah, right now it's there's a blockage. Yep, the unconscious reversed, and then the Five of Swords reversed. Don't fight, don't fight this change that you feel inside of you that you can't explain to anybody else. Don't try to explain it to other people. Pray, talk to the moon, talk to... Um, you know, talk to spirit, talk to energy, talk to your God. Uh, it's happening and it wants to, and you're fighting it. You're fighting it tooth and nail. And you're, you're fighting like, and you're fighting it in an interesting way. You're telling everyone that you really don't believe and you think everything is a bunch of malarkey, Taurus. You're like spouting out what you don't believe to, in hopes to believe it. But you are, Taurus, I mean, and also the lovers uh, um, also can symbolize you too, because, you know, Gemini, like this feeling of kind of Venus, you know, Gemini doesn't, Gemini actually rules Mercury, but lovers love Venus. Um, like you have this power, this capacity in February, Mercury, um, Taurus to be heard and to be appreciated by it. And, and in the past, I think, especially in January and December, you feel like you haven't been heard. No one understands what you're going through. No one understands the depth of who you are and what you're about. 
and you haven't had the voice you've wanted to have. Well, February, it starts to shift. And even though you have to, you know, um, take care of some relationships that are no longer serving you, and you might have to cut some ties at work too, because it's just getting too overwhelming. These things are going to help you tap into the connection with the other parts of you that will make you feel whole. But you're, it's in a way I can feel, Taurus, that a lot of Taurians right now are just don't want to deal with it. It seems too hard. It seems too challenging. It seems too daunting. Well, Taurus, you are so strong and you have such a, like a, a capacity to keep going. You know, you, it's like, Taurus the bull, you are built to keep going and you can do this. Don't sell yourself short because I know that like physically, you feel physically, you can do anything. Mentally, you can combat a lot, but when it comes to emotions, that's a lot, that's tough, right? Am I right, Taurus? It can be kind of complicated, Taurus, for, for us to feel that emotion and accept it as it is. This is your month to really combine that, to combine the emotional side of you with the rest of your life and be comfortable with it. There's a difference between actually dealing with it and, um, you know, keeping it com compartmentalized from the rest of your life. But this month, I really feel like emotionally, you are going to be able to interweave that part of you with the rest of your life. And once you do that, a lot of these cards that are um, in reverse will s slowly start to shift to upright. And that's what I was talking about at the beginning of the reading of you can get to your goals. No, no worries about that. You can get there. But how you're going to get there can be really challenging if you keep fighting it. Okay, let's call on Mother Moon and see what added guidance she has for you. Mother Moon, Taurus, February 2017. What added guidance do you have for my, this one? Tolerance. Okay. Um, this is uh, Sorga Ganti. I'm probably, I think I totally butchered the name. Sorga Ganti Gat Gatani. Okay, I apologize for butchering, but I'm going to read a little bit about this. Uh, but right off the bat, I want to say have tolerance with self first, Taurus. You know, accept that you will make mistakes. Don't beat yourself up over it. It's okay. We all do that. But really, don't allow any m perceived mis mistakes you make to be the reason why you stop with anything you do. Okay, I'm looking for it in the book. Huh. Where is she? Oh, I'm looking in the wrong section, that's why. Um, tolerance. The card of honoring the full range of our humanness. Soga Ganti teaches, teaches that all beings deserve respect. Legendary among Mongols, Soga Ganti taught her son to rule with a kind and tolerant heart, affirming the right of, of Christians, Muslims, Buddhists, and Confucians to peacefully coexist. She recognized that understanding prevails over force. When this sage ancestor appears, she directs you to open your mind and expand your love. A bringer together of East and West, she urges you to bridge the divisions that live within your soul, within your home, and within your world. Oh gosh, isn't that like perfect for this time right now in this exact moment? So you are bringer uh, together, Taurus. Thank you. Like already, I just want to 
hug and kiss all my Torians for having like this cross to bear, but doing it with grace and dignity and truth and love. You know, and that's probably why this has come up the way it has, that your path is, can be a little windy, but you will get to where you need to go. And you will get there because you are bringing um, tolerance to the world. You are bringing tolerance to your world. And the only way you can do that is by combining the different parts of yourself and accepting the light and the dark of you. And once you do that, you can shine that beautiful light of knowledge to the rest of us. So... That's, you know, that's a, that's big, that's huge. And so all of these things that you might feel are just too much, too hard, uh, I can't get through this, you, you absolutely will get through. And because you can get through it, you will be able to gift the rest of the world, all of us, knowledge of your adventure you just were on and help us on the path of healing and growth and combining forces to make us all stronger. So thank you. <laughs> all right. If you would like a personal reading, feel free to find me on Facebook. You can find me on Twitter, um, website, email me. All right. Much love, joy, and blessings.